Exodus tells us that in moments where we feel low, where we feel desperate even, God still works a plan for the future. That's where a lot of churches in our country are right now, feeling a little bit low. But God still works a plan for the future. It's why we need to hear from this book so much, I think. We're going to be talking about Exodus from now until October the 22nd, if you notice that on the front of your bulletin. And that's a really, really long time. If you read just about any book about worship planning or church leadership, they'll tell you that is too long. You should not have a worship series that is that long because people lose focus, lose attention. You have to change it up more often to keep people interested. I'll tell you, this is a bad idea. But you know what? I do not care. I do not care. I think we really need to hear from this book. I don't think I have been a part of a church, perhaps, that needed to hear the message of Exodus as much as our church does. We really need to hear this. This book is about being led out to something new. It's even in the name, the name Exodus. It's a two-part Greek word. First part is uh, ex, means out, and the second part is hados, which is a road or a way. Ex, hados. It's the road out, or it's the way out. So Exodus is the road out, the way out for the Hebrew people, the way they got out of the situation that they were in. That's what we need to hear. 